Well, it's Saturday the 2nd of August, so we've been at sea for a month and one day. Uh, we left uh, Concars Land, where we'd gone up to 79 North off the island of Abeloya, uh, two or three days ago, and we slowly made our way to the southwest. And now we're off the island of, I'm not sure whether that's Edgar Oya or Edge Oya. Depends who this, whether this is Mr. Edgar or Mr. Edge. But anyway, no matter. And you see here it says Stone Breen, and a Breen is a glacier. Um, this is on the, the Edge Oya ice cap. Um, and we are just to the northeast side, just two or three miles offshore of this absolutely amazing glacier um, which I hope to go down the side of um, if the wind permits. Uh, the light's not very good today unfortunately but it is improving. Uh, it seems to be clearing from the south actually although we've got a northwesterly wind, a very very light northwesterly. But what we're going to do hopefully is come around this point here uh, then run down um, the side of the ice cap um, between the ice cap and these islands out here. Um, but it really is something to behold. We'll go on deck and have a look, um, but we'll obviously get better, better views later on. That's the idea anyway, but just to give you sort of general orientation. I start up here, perhaps use a bit of wide on there. Um, you can see there's land all the way around here. This is the Bla Bukta, the Bla Bay. And then over there we start to get to the start of the ice. Um, then it comes all the way around um, and the north eastern point of the ice is down there. Let's just try moving in a little bit more. But what there are are these absolutely amazing ice cliffs at the end of the glacier. I've never seen anything like it. Um, and occasionally we get a big crump like a, a shell going off, a clap of thunder as ice um, the ice cracks and collapses. Anyway, um, there are, that's the stone glacier and hopefully we'll get uh, much better views of it a little bit later. Well, we're coming into the northeast corner of the glacier. I've been waiting around for a while for good light, but haven't really had it yet, but the glacier is 35 miles from north to south, so I think we'll start working our way down it, and uh, maybe at some point we'll get uh, we'll get some sunshine, which will be nice just to really make it sparkle a bit. It's uh, pretty impressive anyway. Well, we're very close in now, and I'm going to turn seawards in a minute because these glaciers have tongues, of course, under the water. And although I only draw three feet, I'd rather not go aground here. But there we are, They're just to celebrate, the sun is trying to pierce us through the cloud there as well, which is absolutely amazing. So there we are. I'm going to have to go seawards because there's quite a lot of drift ice to the south of us here, and I actually don't want to have to work my way through that particularly. Um, but anyway, there we are, that's a good look at the stone glacier. And just to celebrate, there's a little seal stuck its head up as well. Right, well it's time to head seawards now, uh, whether we'll come back in. Given the ice which I can see further south uh, remains to be seen, but uh, there we are. That's quite an amazing sight. As I said, this is 35 
miles long you can actually see possibly some small drift ice in this little bay here but it's time to um, get out of here basically attractive as it may be well I have decided to run down um, parallel with the these cliffs of ice because the drift ice is mainly sticking very close in shore if you could call it a shore the light is terrible and I'm just hoping that at some time before we get to the end of this 35 mile long cliff face that the light will improve and we can get some decent photography but it just goes on and on and on and on and on all the way down the coast and it turns the turns the corner um, way down there so here we are it's about seven o'clock in the evening second of august and we are running pretty much due south parallel with the edge of the stone glacier Well, we finally got a bit of sunshine on the glacier. I sailed off and then after a couple of hours sleep looked back and the skies had cleared. And we had this beautiful clear weather that I've been hoping for. So we sailed in and there's the uh, Kong Johans Breen, Kong Johans Glacier. Um, we've finally got the sunshine but we've lost the wind so I can't go in any further I was hoping to be able to have another go maybe down the main glacier which is there but still in shadow but uh, that's not going to happen this uh, the wind's gone round to the southwest and close in uh, we're losing it completely so I'm very very slowly making my way offshore again but at least we got one reasonably close shot of a um, of a nice um, Svalbard glacier um, so we're making our way off again hopefully it'll pick up some wind once we get a little bit further offshore and then I imagine that we'll be heading uh, if the wind stays in the southwest we'll be heading back to Hopen um, in search of walruses so there we are I always seem to be making two or three farewells to wherever I go but for the moment anyway this is the final farewell for Edgar Oyer. Well, this really is goodbye to Edgar. Really, really the last goodbye. And finally, under this brilliant sunshine, looking absolutely magnificent with the massive ice cap totally unclouded and, and visible. <laughs>